okay so i've got it this far now pretty much uh it's set in place uh, ready for the boring mm. and i have my epoxy here this is the resin i think doesn't really say and this is the hardener i believe and they also kind of pointed out uh, what kind of scale i need to uh, mix this so this is uh, component a is supposed to be 100 and uh, component b is supposed to be 55 so i got a nice nice little app here or another app but a website that has this um, calculator so i don't have to use my brain uh, and I calculated that I need about uh, 3.7 or something like that uh, liters here uh, and because this thing is really expensive I'm gonna make uh, 3.5 as you can see from here and uh, I need uh, 0.7 uh, kilos or 0.7 liters of um, uh, component A and 0.3 liters of component B. Wait, what? That can't be right. Something is wrong here. What the hell? Okay. Uh, this is more like it. So 2.2 liters of this and 1.2 liters of this and to measure it in I have this funky looking uh, measuring cup uh, its maximum is 1000 milliliters so yeah I should be able to do it with this I also have a scale but that scale is not working right now so I have to kind of do it with this but that, that's not a big deal this is my resin mold that I made it's just plain uh, plain OSP on the bottom and I uh, mask at it with um, some masking tape. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, I think you can see it from here. Just uh, this very cheap masking tape. I did uh, two passes on it and I think that would be fine. It won't stick to the OSP. Okay, so while that cures, um, I have chosen a couple of pieces of steel here for the for the legs for the table. Uh, this is just a, a I believe like four mill millimeter stick uh, flat bar uh, that I'm gonna put uh, under the table, and I'm gonna try to get four legs out of this one. Uh, the ta table won't be that uh, tall of the ground, so. For a coffee table I think I can get like four pieces from here so uh, let's get to cutting I guess and then welding.
Okay, so here's the situation so far. Um, my original plan was to actually kind of flatten it uh, with the router bit after it had done curing. Uh, but I think I can't do that right now because uh, because uh, how banana this uh, blank uh, actually both of these blanks kind of went banana on me, uh, as you can see. So if I try to flatten this. The second time fully, I think there will be like one cent centimeter left, so uh, I'm not sure why this happened. Uh, I did try the both of these blanks out to about seven, seven to eight percent of moisture content. So why they, why did they went banana still? I'm not sure. Maybe it has something to do with the epoxy itself. Maybe someone in the comments can clarify. That would be very useful. So uh, I think my only option is to currently sand it uh, and uh, I dry it out a bit here and it looks very nice so I'm gonna continue sanding it with the, uh, with the belt sander first uh, and later gonna dry a smaller grit sandpaper to kind of get a clear finish on the epoxy right now it's full of, full of scratches from the sandpaper Kind of sad actually because I can't can't use this uh, router bit that I got specially for this job. Uh, before I had this tiny little thing, so if you compare the two, there's a huge difference. So I'm kind of looking forward to use this, but until then it's gonna sit in the box. And I think uh, yeah, let's uh, let's uh, see how the sanding process goes. And uh, hopefully it will be a nice, sort of nice table afterwards. Okay.
Okay, so I think I'm gonna wrap this video up now. Uh, this is the finished pro project uh, and I'm kinda okay with it, but I'm not super satisfied. Uh, I think it kinda went downhill after I applied the varnish uh, because it made it a bit too yellow, I think. And I'm not a big fan of the color yellow, uh, unless it's on an excavator or something, uh, then I'm a big fan of that. Uh, but here, uh, not not so much. Uh, also, the first varnish that I added, uh, apparently that was like expired or something. So don't do that. Don't use expired varnish. Uh, so I I had to uh, sand it off and uh, apply a new coat of different varnish, and uh, that was semi semi gloss. So thanks to the semi gloss, I think uh, the epoxy is not super clear right now. It's it's kind of okay, but not super okay. Uh, but I think I'm gonna leave it as it is, and I think this table sits nicely in this uh, room. So, yeah, mm, hopefully in the future when I make something similar, uh, I will choose a better better varnish. But uh, for now, this will be fine. Uh, this was kind of a test test table anyway. So yeah. So overall, I think this table looks decent and uh, yeah, thanks for watching and have a good one.